Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like hi-fi equipment, subwoofers, speakers, DACs, amps, turntables, AV receivers, tube amps should cost more than a, a, a stuffed bison mount that you put above your, your fireplace so that everybody in the family can enjoy it. And they're big. And maybe if you haven't seen a buffalo or bison in person recently, you don't know how big it is, but you're going to need some real estate above the fireplace to make sure that the buffalo has enough headroom. And this doesn't. What is it? It's the Bayou Range MT-34 Mark II tube amp. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Bayou Range MT-34 Mark II tube amp. Today's sponsor is Duct Tape by 4M. They've redesigned the formula after all those people got sick overseas at the manufacturing plant. It's no longer toxic. So go out and grab yourself a roll of Duct Tape by 4M. You can use it for a variety of things like putting a bumper back on your car or cable management. Duct Tape by 4M. Available at all the retailers. It's going pretty good until the end. Okay. The Bayou Range MT-34 Mark II Tube Amp. I got this from China Hi-Fi Audio. They're a great outfit over there. This thing has four EL-34 tubes in it, three 6NJ1 tubes, and then a uh, 5Z-4P. Say that five times really fast. I think that's the rectifier tube. It makes 15 watts in triode mode or a whopping 25 watts in ultra linear mode. It's right underneath $700 shipped from China Hi-Fi Audio or it's about 740 bucks on Amazon. This thing weighs a whopping 42 pounds. So be careful when you're pulling it out of the box because you might fall over because it's not like the center of gravity is not right in the middle. It's on the side so you could just topple over. If you used to pick up hay bales and alfalfa bales and you know the difference in weight between a hay bale and alfalfa bale, you'll probably be fine. On the back, there are three RCA inputs and it, they're labeled CD, tape, or aux. And then on the back, there's two sets of speaker outputs, one for 8-ohm speakers and one for 4-ohm speakers. And on the front, there is the ultra linear and triode selector very good very good knobs metal very well built this thing is a stalwart tube amp i tested this with the elac debut b6 the elac unify 2.0 or ub52 as i like to call it sometimes the elac unify reference the jbl stage a130s the klipsch rp 500m and i think that's it also the Polk R100s. Those speakers all have a variety of sensitivities all the way from 85 on the low end all the way up to I think 95 are the clips RP 500 M's. If anyone is under the impression that a tube amp sounds dark and warm then they haven't heard an EL34 tube amp because it sounds sweet and nice and almost a bit forward in upper mid-range. Bass is fine and controlled and palpable it's a very clear it's a very nice sounding tube amp and frankly el34 tube amps are my favorite i use the denifreps aries 2 and the topping d50s uh, to feed this thing when i was running the klipsch i put the Bellari eq 570 in the chain so i went dac to eq and then into the bayou range mt34 mark ii Okay, so what's the difference between ultra linear and triode mode? There's a lot of things that I don't know about, but what I do know is one gives you more power, 10 watts to be exact. So ultra linear gives you 20, 25 watts, and the triode mode gives you 15 watts. But don't be concerned because even 15 watts on a tube seem, and I don't know, they're probably the same, but it sure seems like it's way more power than what you get 15 watts out of a class D or class AB. Frankly, the Vista Audio Spark is 20 watts 
and sometimes in some instances that amp has a hard time handling bass on certain speakers 15 watts out of a tube amp this tube amp the body range no problem i did notice a bit of a difference when i was listening to snm2 by metallica uh, one so it gets very very complicated when they when you go and the symphony comes in it's very complicated and there's a, a lot of quick bass going on not just from Lars but from the symphony as well so I noticed when I was in triode mode it had a tendency to separate the instruments out a bit better I'm not it wasn't night and day but there was better instrument separation in triode mode in ultra linear mode I felt like the bass was controlled much better and it had zero issue rendering all the stuff that was going on on the bottom end. So, both of them did fine. It was fine, and neither one of them was like, oh man, I wish it wasn't doing this, or I wish it was doing something better. It's just, it, it's a subtle difference, and that's in, that's the song that I heard the biggest difference between Ultra Linear and Triad Mode was one by Metallica off an SNM2, but it was in that really complicated part of the music. Everything else was just fine. Power. If you have any concern about getting a tube amp because you don't think it's going to be enough power to drive your speakers, don't worry about it. Because this thing drove everything, everything that I threw at it, including the hard to drive ELAC Unify reference. Well, they're not super hard to drive, but the ELAC Unify series pretty low sensitivity 85 db no problem even in triode mode i didn't really feel like there was any problem driving those and i did notice an issue with the vista audio spark which is 20 watts per channel but that's you know solid state power i did notice a problem trying to drive the elac unify reference off of that amp no problem with this amp i never got it past the 11 o'clock position when i was in ultra linear mode and rarely, and I really didn't get it past 12 o'clock really, maybe towards one o'clock on the volume dial when I was in triad mode. This thing has oodles of power and gave me everything I wanted. Overall, this thing sounds fantastic. Very detailed, very nice, not edgy at all. Holographic, opens up the soundstage. You start feeding it something like the Denifreps Aries too. that soundstage gets even bigger instruments are separated just fine before this i tried the bayou range a 10 which is a 6 watt el34 has two el34 tubes in it this has four it was a 6 watt amp loved it in every way this is a bigger and better version of that not necessarily from a sound perspective but from a power perspective and frankly i feel like this one is even more holographic than the a10 if you've ever been scared off by a tube amp because of power, don't. Frankly, the most efficient speakers, the Klipsch, um, didn't really match up well with this because the Klipsch are a more forward speaker. EL34s, in my opinion, can be a bit forward when it comes to upper mid-range. They didn't match well. I That's why I put the EQ in there and I had to tame down the 2K uh, region for the Klipsch. Warm speakers, I think, are going to mate up well. Neutral speakers are going to mate up well. Anything that leans towards fatiguing is probably going to be exacerbated by this amp. So it likes neutral speakers and even warm speakers. And the DAC that you feed it can be more laid back, can be a very lush DAC, and this is going to liven it up quite a bit. DACs like the iFi Zen DAC, uh, shit Bifrost, that are a little bit more laid back and, and full going to do great with this but on the flip side this amp was not too forward that it didn't also play well with saber dax and akm dax obviously the denifreps aries 2 sounded wonderful with it so css audio and my channel the cheap audio man are doing a raffle that's going to go until august 9th i think august 10th we're going to do the drawing right now we have two pairs of speakers a um CSS Audio is putting up a Crichton finished set of Crichton speakers. We have some Energy C200 speakers, and one of the viewers put those up. Some amps, some IEMs, a whole bunch of good stuff. 
anyone that contributes five dollars up to whatever they want to contribute gets entered into the raffle the more you give the more entries you get it's a great organization a uh, great charity for disabled veterans that were hurt in the line of duty you can also support the channel through patreon patreon.com slash cheap audio man every sunday night we have patron only zooms we also have a patron only facebook group you can also sign up for amazon music there's a link in the description. Click on the link, sign up. I think you get four months, three months or four months for free. You can also use my links to purchase the Buy Your Range MT34 Mark II. If you buy it directly from China Hi-Fi, I don't get a commission, but that's okay. Support them. They are a great outfit and they have these in stock. These aren't always in stock. So don't binge watch anything. Binge listen through your brand new tube amp that's awesome and can drive any speaker you throw at it and fill your soul with happiness and with that i'm randy i'm the cheap audio man